Hi friends, welcome back to Computer Education for Kids. So today's upload is all about some other parts of computer. In the last video, we have seen four main parts of computer which were important for class 2. And today's video is all about some other extra parts of computer for class 2. Let's look into the video. There are many other parts of a computer. So first one among them is UPS. The full form of UPS is uninterrupted power supply. Uninterrupted means without any interruption or without any block. Now what happens whenever you're working on a computer and suddenly if the electricity or the current goes off, what will happen? Whatever work you're doing on the computer will be lost. So if you're using a UPS, uninterrupted power supply, what will happen? Computer will be on for some more time even if the electricity goes off. So what will happen? We'll get time to save that data. And laptop have battery. So we don't need a UPS. The next part we are going to learn is printer. What is printer used for? To get the printouts. Well, if some, uh, some in, in your phones you will have some pictures. If you want the printout, we can use the printers. Likewise, in computer, if you have some pictures or any documents, if you want to take the printouts, we use a printer for that. It will be mainly used for uh, taking the printouts of the documents from the computer or any pictures from the computer. The next device we are going to learn is microphone. Everyone knows what is a microphone, right? It is helping us to record voice in a computer. Or if you are talking to some people over the call in a, using a computer, you can talk with the help of a mic or microphone. So the voice will be louder. Next one is speakers and headphones. These are the pictures of speakers on the left side and headphones on the right side. So speakers, what is it used for? Everyone knows it, right? Speakers, we can listen to the sounds and musics on the computer with a louder voice so that everyone can hear. It will be audible to everyone. Next one is headphone. Headphone, what is the use of it? We can hear sound and music on a computer but without disturbing others. Only you can hear through the headphone. Today's topic is CD. This is a picture of a CD. You can store the work, whatever work we do on a computer, we can store it in a CD. It is a storage device. We can insert a CD inside a CD-ROM drive. We can put a CD in a CD-ROM drive. The CD-ROM drive, where is it present? It is present inside a CPU. CD is used to store the work. We can insert it in CD-ROM drive. CD-ROM drive is present inside a CPU. Next is DVD. This is a picture of DVD. DVD also help us to store data. But what is the difference? DVD can store seven times more data than a CD. DVD and CD is having the same function, but DVD can store seven times more data than a CD. Next is a brainstorm part. Will you use a CD or a DVD to record the video of a birthday party? Answer is DVD. Why? Because DVD can store more data than a CD. So obviously we will use DVD for storing the video of a birthday party. Next storage device we are going to see is pen drive. Everyone might have seen pen drive. We can store data in pen drive as well. Where can we insert a pen drive? Inside a USB port. We will call it as USB port. USB port is present inside a CPU. Pen drive we can insert inside a USB port and this USB port is also present inside a CPU. The last one is hard disk. Hard disk is present already inside a CPU. We don't have to carry it anywhere. It will be always fixed inside a CPU. So today we saw about CD, DVD, pen drive and hard disk. All these four are storage devices. All the four devices are helping us to store data. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was an useful information. So see you in next upload with another bunch of information. Before leaving, let me remind you to subscribe my channel. Hit on the like button if you like my presentation.